Arthur loves working on the island of Solador. He is new to the railway and is still learning his way around. One morning, he discovered the fishing village. The sun made the water sparkle and the seagulls called across the harbour. This was Arthur's favourite place. That evening, the fat controller came to the sheds. There's going to be a new line to the fishing village. I have to decide which engine shall run it. He paused impressively. Thomas and Percy looked away. They had enough work to do. Arthur hoped he would be chosen. Jock, you'll work on the new line. Uh, yes sir, said Duck. But he really didn't like the smell of fish. Arthur was disappointed. The back controller sent him to haul coal to the steelworks. That evening, Duck was at the washdown when Arthur puffed in. Do I smell a fishy engine? He teased. Yes, huffed Duck. Smelly fish, smelly new line. Arthur wished he could go to the fishing village instead of the steelworks. He'd be much happier than Duck. The next morning, Duck was still grumpy. The fisherman had caught lots of fish. Hurry up, said Duck. I'm a busy engine. And a fussy one too, said the fisherman. Just enjoy the fresh salty smell of the fish. Phew, puffed Duck. Duck steamed as fast as he could along the line. But there was trouble ahead. Some faulty point sent his chops one way and Duck onto the old pier rail. The trucks were delighted! Duck's in the water! Quack, quack, quack! Luckily, Duck wasn't hurt and the fish trucks stayed on the tracks. When the fat controller heard the news, he checked his timetable. Arthur is the nearest engine. I'll send him right away. It was a hot day. The ice that was keeping the fish cold started to melt. I hope someone comes quickly, moaned Duck. That fish will spoil soon. Arthur was surprised to see Duck in the tidal pool. Are you alright, Duck? No, but I'll be much better when you take these fish away. The breakdown van will be here soon, called Arthur's driver. Arthur knew he had to hurry. He raced along the line to the docks and arrived there just in time. Later, Arthur went to see Duck at the fitter's yard. Thank you for helping me, said Duck. Thank you, said Arthur. I wish I had the fishing village line all the time. Well, please tell the fat controller, because I don't like fish. That evening, the fat controller came to the sheds. I need an engine to go to the fishing village while dock is being repaired, he said. Any volunteers? Me, Arthur blurted out. And please, sir, may I run that on that line all the time? Duck doesn't like fish, but I do. Then the lion is yours, said the Fat Controller. Arthur was delighted. The next morning, he puffed into the fishing village right on time. The smell of fish was everywhere, but he was sure he had the most beautiful line on the island of Sodor.